Hi, this is Dale, the spyware prevention guy. Today I want to talk to you about a program called Dropbox. Now this doesn't really deal so much with spyware removal, spyware prevention, or anything like that, but it does help you with your data backups. I know most people nowadays might carry around a flash drive, but this is a free online service where you can get two gigabytes of free storage and as much as I'd like to say I know about a lot of the good products out there, especially the free ones, I hadn't heard of this one until recently. So I thought I'd share this with you. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get started. And we'll go to dropbox.com, which is their website URL. Dropbox.com. It's very easy to use. And you can load this on all your computers and sync some of your online backups across different computers. So here we are. I went and clicked that download that was on the first screen there. And now we're going to save the file. As usual, I like to save it to my desktop. It's a very small program. It downloads pretty fast. And there it is. And I'm going to close my browser. So there it is, Dropbox. All we have to do now is just run the program. Double click it. And run it. Click install. Now you can accept the default locations where it installs your Dropbox folder. I am going to tailor mine. I want to. I want mine to show up in the C drive, not my My Documents folder. And if you don't already have a Dropbox account, which you probably don't, if you're just now hearing about this, you're going to go over here to click I don't have a Dropbox account, and you're just going to put a little information in there with your name and email address and and uh, choose a password that you want to use. In my case, I already have one, so we'll skip that. Now I can't show you all my information here, but uh, after you put in your email and your password, you click Next, and here you go. Now, you're going to get two gigabytes of free storage. Of course, they would probably like you to upgrade. And if you ever do need more storage, you can't purchase it. You can also earn more storage by referring their product. So it's kind of what I'm doing here as well. So I can see if I can earn some more storage space for free, and you can do the same. Uh, you'll eventually receive an email from them showing you just how to do that. Here I'm going to click Next. And you can watch the tour here as you progress through and see how this program is going to work. As you can see, you can access your files from anywhere using Dropbox.com. Of course, you'll need a computer with an internet connection. Next. Now it's going to show you that there's an icon you're going to see down here, like right down here. Because this program needs to be running all the time for this to work. And here you're going to see how you can do some sharing. You can actually share some of your files and folders with friends. You can give them invites to use your Dropbox folder. You can actually add a shortcut to your desktop, which most programs do anyways. Now what I'm going to do here is I want to choose where to put my Dropbox folder. You could just choose the default location and click Finish and you'll find your Dropbox folder in your My Documents folder. In my case, I want to have mine in the root on my C drive, so that's where I had mine set before, and that's where I'm going to do it again. Again, you can do this wherever you want to put it. And then click Finish. And there's the folder. Now mine just might populate in a moment with some stuff I already have in there because I've been using this already. But if you go over here to your like my computer icon, click to see, you're going to see I have a Dropbox folder right here. And the reason why I like to put it in the C, I'll show you again here, is that it shows up right here when you double click on the computer icon. I mean it's right there in front of you. So here's some stuff I have in here. As you can see, I got a folder I'm sharing out already with someone. 
and you have your icon down here showing it's running. It's downloading some files right now into my Dropbox folder, so it's synchronizing right now. And it's so easy to use. All you need to do is just open up the Dropbox. Say I want to put this right back in the folder. I can just drag that in there. And it's going to synchronize and actually upload to your Dropbox storage space. Now, you'll notice the little icons here. When they have the green circle with the checkbox, that means they're synced, they're fully synchronized, it's already uploaded. Uh, something like here, I, I got a lot of stuff in this particular folder. It's going to take some time before it's done. So you don't necessarily want to be shutting your computer down while it's synchronizing or it won't complete until next time you turn it on and synchronize. So let it finish, watch the icon go green, and you'll be done. Anyways, that's it. That's Dropbox.com. It's a great program. Again, you get two gigabytes of free storage. You can access your files from any computer with an internet connection using this. I would suggest, though, that I wouldn't put your most sensitive information there, like financial information. It is encrypted. You do have to have credentials to log in to use it. But like anything in the internet, even banks, they can be hacked. So. You might want to just use it for just moving files around, like sometimes I, I'm leaving from work, I go home, and I want to have some files available for my computer on my home computer when I get home. I could just put them on my flash drive, but I could also just easily just put it in my Dropbox, and it'll be there when I get home, and I can download it to my other computers. Anyways, that's all I need to say about Dropbox. I hope you enjoyed this video and use the program. This is Dale, the spyware profession guy. Thank you, and bye-bye.